It's time for new movie toys. Boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. Transformers, The Last Night, Premier Edition, Decepticon Berserker. Today, on Gorilla Reviews. God help me. Okay, yeah. I uh, as you probably know, these this is one of the four new deluxes coming out uh, at the start of the well before the movie anyway. To give you a taste of what's basically going to be a very very disappointing line, because again we're dealing with movie aesthetics here, and half of them are repaints. I mean honestly. The Bumblebee and the Slash from this same premiere line were from Age of Extinction. The only other new mold is Barricade, and he's... boring. And considering the prices that some of the places are charging for these new, new movie toys, especially deluxes, some places are seeming like 25 bucks, I don't see a lot of collectors shelling out for boring. And as you can see, there's clearly some inaccuracies from the start here, because uh, the dreads on the Berserker here don't look all, all this gold color, so that's already... Well, that's, imagine that's probably the plastic wire that can't be held on to it anyway, so I can probably give or take that. The X looks a little... well, it's a little too clean for what they're trying to do here. The rest is just kind of black, gray, and a touch of red here and there. But at least he comes up with actual accessories. At least what passes for accessories. These two little spear, mace, gun things. It's better than nothing. I will give them that. And they are made of the soft plastic, so you're unlikely to uh, put anyone's eye out. Or if they're swallowed, some dumb little kid isn't going to choke, presumably. <laughs> now you can kind of already tell that it's get a little bit of cynical uh, ideology of this new movie toy line from the two words, Raging Destroyer. There's an exciting bio, isn't it? <clears throat> On the back here we do see that he turns into this SUV. Now from what I've seen, there are, it is very similar to the Dark of the Moon crankcase, if but a little bit more engineered very differently. Whether or not that's of any merit I have yet to determine. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box and see what we're actually working with here. Oh, instructions. And they actually look to be somewhat helpful. The pictures aren't microscopic, so at least they're getting back to that. Both sides, cross cells. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Boy, I never thought I'd see the day where I actually missed twist ties. But these are a little bit easier to get off here. Still about as eco-friendly as, well, anything else, but hey. Alright. Okay, nothing came off. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so we have him out of the package. Okay, okay, that's you know. Why does his pelvis look like that? Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Now it doesn't look like he's giving you the pelvic thrust, which this is a babe movie, so that's actually a plus that they're not actually doing that. Okay, let's get into some actual review, shall we? Okay, now we have him in his uh, proper aligned leg mo legs here, and well, yeah, he looks... Well, you know how it looks, but for how it looks, it's still not terrible. I mean, yeah, it's backpack going on here, but this is the real world, not movie physics, so it's gonna have that. Okay, as for the accessories, they do, uh, well, they're supposed to pig in the back here, the backpack, 
It works well for one of them, the other one's kind of, well, floppy, but oh well. <clears throat> Chances are I'm not going to have them in there too much anyway. Anyway, you can hold them like this for... Well, something that I probably shouldn't say because you're probably watching this review at work. <clears throat> yeah, taking a closer look at the whole robot mode sculpt, uh, the hit, it, well, you know, it's Predator. Predator. Let's just say it. They just cribbed the look from Predator. <clears throat> head is also a little bit squished, at least from what I look of it. Uh, everything else, it's at least together here. Nothing loose right out of the gate. They've Let's check articulation now, shall we? So now head. Okay, it's on a ball joint. <clears throat> Does come up fairly easily, so. But it's also on a pin joint there, so you can have his head do what you need it to do. You can even have it do that. Actually, that's kind of funny and actually entertaining. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, shoulders. Let's see here now. Oh no. Hinge joint, ball joint. Uh, that's here now. Mushroom peg, bicep, 45 degree elbow, and downward moving. Uh, downward moving hands. So you got that going for you. Well, this probably is more than like a transformation. Again, the uh, hips move forward for transformation. Don't do much else. You know, ball jointed hips, mushroom peg, thigh swivel, 90 degree knee bend, and because of the digital grade legs, you also get a massive ankle tilt here, but you've also got a little bit of play here in this heel spur. So you can get him into at least some decent poses. So that's at least something. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now let's get this thing into the vehicle mode. See what it actually looks like there. Because since this is a licensed vehicle, it has to at least try to look like it. So whether or not it achieves that is nothing entirely. Okay, so we start by folding out kibble, folding down these shoulder spikes. Okay. And right off the bat, these come off in my hand. I don't know if that's a design flaw or a design feature because they're not really held in by a whole lot here. It's possible if you just want that look kibble free you can easily do that just just like that. Plus or minus that's get up to the person's individual taste. Anyway, anyway. Let's see now then we'll fold back the hands here. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, that's going to be irritating for a lot of people, especially if they're trying to get this thing into world vehicle mode. Okay, then we'll fold everything up like so. Okay, so that's at least achievable. Okay, fold this. Fold up these heel spurs. Turn everything this way. Actually, I think this way. All right. Okay, then we fold them in half. He's been doing his yoga. Okay, then I imagine we just kind of press all these panels together until we get something resembling the vehicle mode. This out of beef. Okay, so there are several pegs, so that's something. So that part stays put, but no. I'll fold out this, get these parts lined up if possible. Okay. All right. This is turning into there's something that says 17 steps. It is significantly more work to get them to do those steps. Okay.
come on. Okay, then let's see, fold out this part. Eventually. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a here and finish this. Otherwise, things are gonna get ugly. Okay, after five minutes, I finally managed to get this thing in a vehicle mode proper, and it still doesn't look right. I mean, yeah, it's got weapon storage back there, but who cares? If it takes this long and this fiddly and falls apart on command, why even bother? In fact, that's kind of my becoming my statement for this whole line is why bother? So if you're looking. And I do mean if you're absolutely desperate and looking. You could probably do a lot better than this toy. The robot mode is fine, which for some people that's all they're going to leave it in anyway. Vehicle mode, well, it is not to pin the wheels that do roll, but it's going to look like absolute garbage. And getting it into it is going to be a, more of a pain than it's worth. Skip it, kids. That's what I'm doing. I'm the Seth Wolf. This has been Transformers The Last Night Berserker. And while I would normally say free your mind, free your toys, just leave this thing to warm on the shelves, kids. That's my advice.